Good afternoon, viewers of Seven News Television. This is another moment that we want to get into you to make you understand that there are many important issues that we discuss this day. Taking care of our children or preparing for their future is something that is as cumbersome as passing a camel through the eye of a needle. Today, somebody so special who is going to be our invitee for our money program is going to tell us more about this. She's no other person than Madam Mercy B. Angu, who is the financial director of Beneficial Life Insurance Company, Cameroon. Madam Mercy, good afternoon. Good afternoon. We are talking on preparing our children's future. So how can we prepare our children's future? Well, it's, um, it's nice when a woman or a family have a new baby, they start by preparing for the child, the future of the child from the bed, from birth. Okay. I know it's easier said than done, but it's the best thing to do when you have your baby and you give birth to the baby, then you prepare to start saving up for the baby so that when it's education time, it doesn't become very cumbersome or very um, difficult for you. So um, what I say sometimes is that it's, there are various ways where you can take care of your child. You either open a bank account or you open an insurance policy for the child's name. I work with beneficial life insurance, so I would not enjoy the privilege of having my kids insured without talking about it to Cameroonians. All right. So generally, if you have a bank account, that's fine. But the difference of having a bank account planning for your kid's future and having an insurance policy is the fact that when you have a bank account, the day you die, the money that is in the account is what they give your kids. And when you have an insurance policy, if you die, the policy is paid up until the end of the policy. So what that means is that if you say you took an insurance policy five months ago and you were paying 10, 10,000 per month, another person has a bank account and was paying 10, 10,000 in the account, if the two of you happen to die, say, in an accident, touch wood, I don't want anybody to die. <laughs> what that means is that when the person whose child, who was saving 10000 for five months goes to the bank, the beneficiary will only have 50000 less bank charges, obviously. But the person who took an insurance policy and was paying 55000 the insurance company will take over the education of the child that was insured till the ten end of the policy, they call it end of the policy, so if the policy was a 20-year policy, what the insurance company does is it takes over the child's education till the end of the policy and still give a capital to the child. So you see that a child whose mother died without it being insured and a child who obviously had a mother who insured her who have a lot more money in her hands than a child whose mother just saved her. So all of this I know is I can say it's also our responsibility as insurance companies to educate the public because apparently not all Cameroonians have this information. So when kids are born, the general tendency is parents wait until when they start going to school, yeah. they go to Njangis or to where to start getting money. But trust me, your best Njangi is an insurance company. Beneficial Life Insurance has educational policies for children, they call it Child Education Plan. And they also have life insurance policies for your individual life, which again can be used. I mean, not saying that people should get insured to die so that beneficiaries get money, no, but saying that when you get insured, you are actually taking care of the future of the loved ones when you're not there. So like we're coming back to the topic saying, how do we plan? There's no yeah. better way of planning than having policies, saving up for the children. You can equally have an, a policy and also have a, uh, and also have a savings account. I know the question usually is that people always ask me, how do you insurance companies make your money then if you have to take money for five months and pay off a policy for 20 years? Yeah. The way insurance companies make their money is, is that when they collect all this pot of monies, like we have about 360,000 policyholders. So when we get all of this money, we invest them. And when we invest this money, we, either by term deposits or bonds, government bonds, treasury bills. And when we buy that, we, we make interest from these monies. And at the end of every policy, we pay back the capital. So we respect our engagements. And for the purpose of this, I know some people like my uncle will say, oh, I only buy a car insurance to get the police off my back, getting the way out of the topic by just coming back to reassure Cameroonians that 
insurance companies pay claims. They pay claims because we have a regulatory body that is like the banks. COBAC is behind the banks like the SEMA is behind insurance companies. So you cannot have your bank account and not have your money. It's the same like in insurance companies. You cannot have a policy and not benefits from that policy. So Cameroonians should be assured that when they take policies for their kids or loved ones, if they are not there, the kids will be taken care of by insurance companies. What's happened in a case that you, the father, dies and the child that has the insurance, the insurance policy or educational policy dies? What happened? If the father dies and the child that has been insured, the dies. educational policy dies, what oh, happens well, then? If both parties die, usually com uh, families have what they call in French Conseil de Famille, which is like a family meeting to designate the, 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 the next person that is the head to the throne of that family. Yeah. Usually they go to the courts to get all the court papers. So in that circumstance, we all have no choice but to pay to the, the paper that the court, the court judgment has been given to, or to the person that the court judgment has been given to. You talk of children education plan. What is it all about? Well, the education plan of children is a, is a policy, it's an insurance policy where you take when, upon the birth of a child or even when you have, you can take it even when the child is late, uh, say five years if you forgot or you didn't know about it. Like people who did not know about it are hearing about it now. If they, they know now that they can get a policy for the child, then you come and get a policy for your child. Interesting thing about it is you pay according to what you earn mm -hmm. or what you think your child can get at the end of the, the policy or if you're not living. So what that means is you make your little calculations and say, oh, I earn this amount of money. If I'm not there, I would love my child to get this amount of money. So that's based upon that, that the policy is designated or is, is written off. So what they do is they see how much you say you want your child to get at the end of the policy and then they calculate back based on your age, obviously, and then they give you the premium that you pay at the end of every month. The premium you pay at the end of every month is the amount that will determine that policy to be enforced till the end of the policy. If you abandon the policy, you lose a lot. So okay. let people not think they can take a policy and abandon. When you abandon, that's where insurance company makes their money, because you have breached the contract. But if you respect the contract till the end of the contract, you, you benefit from the contract. And if you're not there, your beneficiaries benefit from the contract. And what if it happens that today you have the money and next month you don't have and the other month you can pay? Yeah, you can it? pay up. Of course you okay. can pay up. If you if say for one reason or the other, or that your policy did not go through, maybe because you're paying standing orders and the bank, when, when you are taking off your money, yeah. you can always pay it off. But when you allow your policy lapse, they call it lapse, meaning if you allow your policy not paid for up to a certain amount of period, say six months, right. you are obliged to go back to on the writing process because they want to see why you abandoned, if you've been sick again, if you're at risk of dying, you know. They always have to access the, lead, the risk the yeah, link to the policy. So the, the advice I'll give everybody is try your best to keep your policy in force till the end of the policy. Last time you were at Mont Faber Hotel to talk about children education plan. Can you tell us how many yeah, times has this existed? The reason why beneficiaries decided to go a little bit out is because we realized that people do not know about insurance. So what we decided to do as part of our corporate social responsibility is to go out and educate and do children orientation, orientation programs yeah. to kids who have been insured with beneficial. So but we did not limit it just to kids insured with beneficial because we thought it was not good. So we opened it up to the children that had and came. I'm happy you were there because you noticed that in the hall we actually gave mentors to children yeah. because in Cameroon we don't have the mentorship program where people know what they want to do in future. The purpose of that program was to orientate our kids that are insured with beneficial to get the right choice of education that they want to have in their lives. So if you're doing well in arts, there's no need trying to be a doctor. Yeah. So we gave a mentor program to orientate kids that if you're doing something well, then you may as well go for it. So if you are a dancer, I'm not saying with children we should be, then you may as well like perfect on that and become a professional yeah. person. If you are a, a doctor or an arts, you may as well do arts and journalism and everything. So the purpose of that program was very interesting because we did a workshop after that and a lot of things came out. We had kids who wanted to be pilots, we had kids who wanted to be doctors, engineers, and we're going to carry on the program every year until we get um, some of these uh, things going. Madam Messi, you are the financial director of Beneficial Life Insurance Company. Can you tell us how it happens that you became 
the financial director of beneficial Yeah, Nations. that's interesting. You know, uh, the passion of everybody is what you want to be in future in life. Mm -hmm. When as young as I was um, 18 or no, 15, I wanted to be an accountant. So I happened to have picked up a bookkeeper job in Sonora Cooperative Credit Union when I left school. And I was only a bookkeeper. So while a bookkeeper in a cooperative credit union, I was admiring the finance director of that company coming in a big, huge car, and I'm like, wow, I really need to be like this person in the future. Okay. So I left and went to England for, for that, to further my studies. And while in England, I, I mean, I love Cameroon. I always wanted to come back and work in my country. So I started looking for work back home when I got my, my master's in uh, accounting and finance. Fortunately, somebody called me and said, oh, Beneficia is looking for a chief accountant. So if you can send in your CV, which I did, I sent my CV online and the chairman of Beneficia in blessed memories called me for a telephone interview. Uh, to cut the long story short, I think he was impressed that I was, and I'm sure they're not disappointed because uh, it's been 15 years now and I'm still there and I'm doing well with them and I love them because we're taking care of a lot of orphans at the end of every year. I'm enjoying it because they have uh, not just the job, we have this emotion, not just emotional, but these other corporate social responsibility issues we are taking, like going to orphanages at the end of the year and giving them gifts, and then uh, doing like the children orientation program yeah. now. Then we also have other things like giving forage to orphanages. orphanages. So to me, I mean, I've, I'm fulfilled. I, I love my job, and I also have this emotional part of me that I love, and this company is giving it, so I'm in the right place. So if I, uh, I have an insurance policy with beneficial life insurance, can I come over and borrow some money? Oh yes, um, the educational policies, you do not take uh, policy loans from them, okay. but your life insurance policies, you can take policy loans from them. I actually have a loan on my policy, so mm -hmm. when you, you are hard up, you can take a policy loan, then you pay back. So you see, you are like enjoying both worlds, because you are like having your policy going, you come and beg, uh, borrow money from it, and you are still covered. So in any case, anything, they'll pay off the claim less the loan and give the balance to your beneficiary. So it's a, I think it's a wonderful thing that Cameroonians are not informed about. So um, uh, how much is the lowest amount to be used to open an account or a policy loan? The policy or how much you borrow for your policy loan depends on your policy. Okay. But the lowest policy, premium amount is 5000 5, You will not have a big amount of capital because uh, your capital is based on your age and if you're young, your premiums are cheaper than somebody who is older. Because normally when you're getting older, you're getting closer to Interest your grave. Yeah. Uh, when you're young, it means you're, you're young, you can live longer. So normally some young person's premium will be lower than somebody who is getting older. So if your, if your premium is, uh, let me call capital. So if your capital is one million, it depends on the cash value you come and take. You yeah. cannot obviously take all the one million. Yeah, that's true. If your capital is, say, five million, you cannot obviously take all, so they have a cash value amount that they give to you as a policy loan, depending on the life of the policy that you've paid. So somebody who has paid his policy for 10 years will obviously get more than you who has paid for just two years, because it's based on the amount that you've contributed that they'll give you the loan. Okay, you talked of low capital and high capital. What is low and high capital? It depends on the person. The, the capital is determined by you yourself. So if your capital is, say, one million, that's good for you, but to, to us insurers, will determine that maybe that, that capital is lower because our will have capital ranges between 1 million and 20 million, depending on every Cameroonian has their capital base. Some people even take for 20 million on their children, but this is based on the income you earn. Yeah. So if you don't earn that level of income, you obviously wouldn't want to go and take a big policy. That's true. But if you earn, uh, say, you take a policy for 10,000 every month that you can pay, well, what we actually advise people to do is take policies that you can pay comfortably and actually pay to the end of the policy. Rather than taking a policy where you pay two, three months, you abandon, then the insurance company gains because you lose a lot of money. Okay, thank you very much, Madam Messingo, for talking to Seven Years. Thank you. It was a pleasure coming. I hope to see you next time. Okay, viewers of Seven News, you've heard from Madam Messingo, who is the financial director of Beneficial Life Insurance Company. Thanks a lot.